Hello everyone, welcome back to Broden Play Stellaris. I want to take a look at the volume controls. Okay, sometimes it says the desktop audio is louder than me, which would, you know, really suck for, uh, what? Are these death symbols? Uh, what? Is this, is this the defense guy? Oh, proximity mines. Yeah, okay, okay, cool. So he put a bunch of proximity mines down. That worried the crap out of me for a second. Like, holy crap, I'm gonna die. All right, so let's unpause the game. Um, and let's play. What I'm doing now is I'm just waiting complete. for our other uh, trips to be completed. Resource storage full. Influence? Ah, oh, our influence is full. Um, okay, let's see what we can do about our influence. Um, hi guys, let's communicate with you. Uh, can we... We could probably do that. And then influence, influence, influence. Uh, we can do more. What's an expansion planner? Ah. Oh. Where's this at? It's right there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll go right there. Beta's Prime, that's fine with me. And then... Um, this one. It's a continental world, so I think the uh, these guys would like it more. Ah, uh, I'm lacking resources now. Okay. So we need more uh, minerals. Hold on a second. I'm actually going to uh, sign in online and accept a friend request. Nice. And now I'm playing uh, Stellaris. Sorry, one of, one of my viewers actually uh, just accepted my, my friend request, so that's good. Um, on Steam. So we got some things going on here. Uh, we got engineering research that we can unlock here. Um, yeah. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. It's going to take 80 months. You know what? No, it's not. You know why it's not? Because I'm going to do this. Um, Policies is an edicts. We're going to go ahead and do. <laughs> Hold on. Engineering. Why is it flipped? That's weird. Uh, policy and it. We're going to do engineering. See on the. It's on the top right here, but it's on the bottom. Um, on this. So now it's forty-three plus forty-three percent. Seventy months only. Only. <laughs> All right, and see what else we can do. What else did we research, though? Um, so we just finished the engineering. So let's go to engineering. Ah, spaceport level fours. So, know what we're going to have to do now? Upgrade all of our spaceports. And to be quite honest with you, they've joined the Golden League. Ships upgraded. Ships are upgraded. We're negative balance. Honestly. I'm sorry, guys. Um, we told you that we was we were going to uh, 
continue to improve our relationship with you, but we're going to have to uh, cancel our patronage. Sorry. And that, that's quite all right. Now we, we still have a full resource of influence. So, I don't know what we can do with influence, you know? Uh, let's see. Maybe we can do more of these. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Planets. Edicts. Arms race. Um, capacity overload. Um, okay. And then this guy. Uh, let's see. How are you doing on the surface? Pretty good! Except for this, apparently. Oh, happiness! Why aren't you happy? Wait, is it only you? Okay, let, let's make you happy then. Um... We can't make you happy. Actually, we can't. Art Monument. Oh, it'll suppress that. Um... I mean, yeah, that's okay. You're unhappy anyway. So, I think the reason why people are unhappy is because we have uh, some policies that they don't like. Like, for instance, uh... Artificial intelligence. We can do outlawed, which will give us eight populations. We'll get a 5% happiness. I don't know what one pop will get. Minus five, but yeah, sure. Um, okay, so we're done with that. Leadership. Okay, voting rights. Okay, resettlement. Um, wow, really? Interesting. 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 We'll, we'll go to light. Yeah, that way some people will like us more. philosophy okay so unrestricted wars is where we want that at migration resettlement is allowed voting rights all right yeah there we go all right also should we encourage free thought research speed plus 10 percent yes absolutely encourage all the free thought please um, okay so now we go to these guys, and we'll do the edict list. We'll do, um, I mean, nothing will make them happy, I guess. But yeah, we'll do capacity overlord, or overload. What, that gives us plus four instead of plus one? Or, ow. Eh, I don't care, I'm a fan. Cool. Um, and then, out of opportunity and you guys have a lot more people I mean not a lot more but sure yeah out of opportunity for sure boom done and then we will go to Kenpo Prime and they're barely getting by here build a science lab here and we'll we'll also do like infrastructure. There we go. And capacity overload. Overload. Yeah, that didn't do anything there. So never mind. Oh, I'm gonna say never mind, but we can't say never mind. All right, cool. All of our influence has been spent. <laughs> hey, it's better than it just sitting there going to waste, right? So this is the construction ship. We will go ahead and return him to the base. Um, Kenpo is making a. Colony ship. Awesome. Alright. We were going to upgrade all of these, but it costs 300 for each. 
The maintenance is expensive right now. Okay, so... I don't care. <laughs> Go away. Who gives a shit? Okay, there we go. Boop. Upgrade that one too. Construction complete. Uh, on the planet, which was the What was that? What is this here? The mineral silo? So the adjacency means the mineral output plus one. So we have that going. That's the adjacency bonus. This is the adjacency bonus there. And then, um, I mean, we kind of want to switch these, you know? I kind of want to say, hey, we're going to replace you with the mining network. And then we're going to replace you with food. But we can't yet because we're out of resources. <sighs> Alright, cool. Now we're going to replace you food. That way we don't starve. That'd be bad. How much uh, food do you have? Oh, you have three excess food. You guys are good. Alright. So everything is being upgraded. Everything is going according to plan. That's perfect. Um, let's go back to our home planet. Tempo, please. Thank you. So 1.1k is the military power of the spaceport. Construction complete. Ah oh, yeah. Okay, we have more communications. They are fanatic xenophobes. All right. Your alien ways are objectable to us, but perhaps we can still engage in limited trade. Assuming your inferior civilization produces anything of value. Keep out of my way, or we will make you. Bitch. Okay, destroyer assembly yards can be built. Can we build... Okay, so... Um, that would probably be a complete. very good investment, actually. Just for this one. This one, uh... This one port. All right, and now we got our military. Um, let's see if there's anything else that we can uh, do with our ship designer. Um, destroyer, auto complete. No, okay, we got everything that we need. All right, guys, we're at war with these guys. No, we're at war with these guys. So why are these guys yellow? Let's go here. Now we have a negative balance now of energy. Oh, colonization! Oh yeah, we're colonizing something too! Okay. Perfect. That's excellent. That'll help out a great deal. Let's close the galaxy map. Um, let's actually go to this planet. Batis Prime. Stupid name. I don't know why I decided to say, yeah, that's a cool name. It's a shit name, to be honest. <laughs> but hey, at least we'll have a, at least we'll have a plan. What's this? Oh, there's a new rivalry. It's fine.
Construction complete. All right. Base port has been upgraded. Let's upgrade this one too. Ah, oh, dude, our naval capacity is getting bigger. I'm excited. All right, uh, let's zoom in on you guys. Where are you guys going? Oh, you're almost there. Sweet. Oh, hold on, what? The planet of interest in this system is covered in layer upon layer of dense ices of varying composition. Apparently, it was once home to more varied and pleasant biomes. A special project has been issued to investigate this possibility. Updated. Really? Right, yeah. Um, science ship. Research that project. Alright, here we go. Oh, sorry. Research complete. Completed research. Alright. Arms in, in space. Manifest destiny. We must have the courage to seize our fate and make true what was always meant to be. Yeah, boys. That's what's up. Okay, so we're here in your system. What you gonna do? Nothing. But, what you gonna do if we go here? That's a question. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Hostile fleet engaged. Construction uh, yes. complete. Yes, it is. Oh, we have missiles now? Or not missiles, Hostile but like... fleet engaged. Yeah, I guess we do. And now we can see the the different damages that we're doing. We're doing a lot more than they are. These guys are pretty screwed. Those guys are probably pretty screwed too if they don't come over in time. And they're not coming over in time. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Perfect. Construction complete. Oh man, they're getting destroyed. Colony established. Hostile fleet engaged. Well, there's another one. What are these guys? Transport ships? Bros, you probably shouldn't. Just saying. Oh, look how awesome that is. are doing so much damage. Do they not have shields, or are we just bypassing them? They don't have shields. Interesting. We're gonna give us a peace offer? Oh no. Alright. Different peace offer. For somebody else. Okay, so now we go to this army and we say embark everyone. And then we go to these guys and we say bombard, please. And now that this fleet's here, we will tell them to. Enter, enter that orbit. Aw oh, man, we have another alien species. You're really gonna keep doing this, huh? That's what's my fleet engaged. Mm 
Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. You're just gonna... Okay, you're, you're just gonna keep sending them, huh? Fine. Situation log updated. Then I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna go right for you again. Special project complete. All right. So, an unnatural shift in the atmosphere's chemical makeup resulted in the slow but irreversible onset of an ice age, one that began before the formation of the hierarchy of Bavalin and is likely to persist long after our passing. The exact cause remains unknown, but probable explanations include hail terraforming attempts or even intraplanetary terrorism. Some of the more radical elements within the scientific com community on Kenpo suggest that the dramatic climate shift may have been brought on by the unchecked emission of gaseous industrial byproduct into the atmosphere. Uh, this view is confined to the scientific fringe, as it is unlikely that any race intelligent enough to achieve full industrialization would be stupid enough to accidentally wipe themselves out. Well, tell that to Trump. And on that note, I will see you guys next time.